<laughs> the motor turns on, the plane takes off all by itself. It's hard sticking to a hobby until you find the right one for you. You're a happy camper, then you just start flying, get, get stick time on it, get used to it. But Bob Clay says it's more difficult when there's no permanent spot to do what you love. He and the rest of the Perry RC Flyers are still looking for a place to call home. And the uh, man and his wife bought the property that we were using as the flyoff of, and so we had to uh, evacuate or vacate the premises. We're kind of meeting in different locations. We've got a couple churches we stop at here and there. Wayne Thompson says they only need five acres of flat land, but they also need an additional 40 acres of land around it to be free of homes or busy highways. Now, it isn't just the land, it's where the land is located in reference to the airports that are already out there. For instance, I can't buy a piece of property right off the end of a full-scale airstrip because I can't fly a model airplane when they're fly already flying over with a, with a full-size aircraft. So it's a safety issue. In the past, the problem used to be that the planes made too much noise around the homes. The electric airplane that one just flew by, you can't hear him at all. So the sound is not so much of an issue with homes in the vicinity. Heath Gold built his first airplane when he was only 18. To him, flying values the importance of being patient and it teaches mechanical skills. Kids have, have gone on gotten interested in this kind of stuff and gone on to engineering careers and aeronautical careers and um, it's a great family atmosphere. And it's just not a whole lot you can do, you just got to hope and pray. It's been a slow process and a sad one for Janice Norris to get things back to normal. That makes you want to cry and this one really makes you want to cry. <laughs> On April 3rd, trees from the tornado fell on her home on Lee King Road in Monroe County. Her 1987 Mercury Grand Marquise is also damaged. But I hate the thoughts of having to get rid of it. She's hoping her insurance allows her to get the part she needs to fix the damage. This part here being part vinyl and part metal, you can't buy those kind of tops anymore. For Janice, her car is more than just a way of transportation. She also runs well, errands for family. I try to uh, just do what I can to help any and everybody. And there have been a lot of people trying to help us now that all this has happened. I've had friends that came and take me to the doctors on Monday in Macon. The trees that fell on her roof are picked up but the roof is still damaged, which also ruined her ceiling inside. Fans, lights, and everything. Knocked the cabinets apart. And Janice is thankful she's living with her sister, who stays next door, and has good neighbors making sure she's okay. Just thankful for people. And friends that came by the next day or so and checked on us have some very good friends. Build a snowman. It doesn't have to build a snowman. Many girls grow up wanting to be a princess. It's I wanted to be Belle. Cinderella was like my favorite. So they dress up as their favorites and have tea parties pretending to be one. Hi. 17 year olds Caroline Gowan and Katie Duke just proved dreams do come true. Oh, look at you at your shoes. Oh, how cute are your shoes? I didn't think about it. It's that. like you dress up for so your simple. job. I'm like, yeah. It's so simple, yet mm -hmm. you would never think about it. Mm -hmm. A smelly, a fellow who's a sensitive. Caroline and Katie wanted to find the right job around school and other activities for the team and didn't want to depend on their family for spending money. I needed a job to get a smartphone, as, as far as my mom says. I have to pay for the bill, so uh, if I don't work, um, I don't get paid. Who's your favorite princess? So they figured to work for themselves and started their business by starting a website and social media pages. Get then down. watched the magic happen through word of mouth. When Ariel rescues a drowning prince, she falls in love. And now they're booking birthday parties. Outside of portraying princesses, they also dress up as mermaids. You can get snow. For, for Elsa, Elsa and Anna, which is we have a snow machine, machine. that her brother Kristoff does. Mm -hmm. It's a bubble machine that makes bubble that and looks it looks like, like snow. snow. And, and then 
that costs a little extra. And then snow cones. And then you have games, which games. and every add-on is $25. Yeah. So it just depends on how much. I think the line is, is uh, 50. 50 for for one character. For one character, it's 50. <laughs> Outside of making money, their favorite part is making the kids feel special. Good. The smiles that the kids have is like the reason when we do what we in, do. Go through that door, swoop down and pick them up. I that know. is what makes they like, everything oh, worth it. It's the best. <laughs>